Hey everybody, so today um, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do right now. I have a poll going on Instagram whether I'm going to do a supernatural look, like my go-to every day. It's not actually that natural, but it's just my go-to. Or like a duochrome, blue maroon, super intense type thing. So I'm going to start with my face makeup so people can still comment and tell me what they'd rather me do. Um, so now we are going to get started. Okay, so... <clears throat> I'm sorry, I have to, I never start with my eyebrows because it's just me and I've accepted that I have ratchet eyebrows naturally. I can't do that right now. We gonna do eyebrows first. So, I always brush them up. Y'all, I'm a tweezing, I don't know a word to use for that. Like, I'm obsessed with tweezing. Like, if I see a hair, I have to tweeze it. And right now, I can't find my tweezers and it's driving me insane. Anyways, I just start on the bottom and I make the line that I want on the bottom first. That way it's kind of like a guide. I, how country did that sound? A guide. A guide. Okay. Just kind of a guide to show you the shape you want. And I'm just going to go ahead and tell y'all now. They're not going to. They're not going to be the same. So. I always do the front part first. I don't really know. I don't think I have a method to my madness on this. It's just how I do, you know. In the end, I kind of, I kind of, the hardest part for me is the arch. So I kind of skip it. And then I draw the line. Like I know where I want it to look at, the, how I want it to look at the end. So I kind of draw that line. And then I do the arch and connect them. That way I don't like do the arch up here on accident and go. So then, then you connect it. And then depending on, that's kind of a little too pointed for me. Yeah. And so I'll just round it out a little bit more. Just round it up. And then if the good thing about this product, besides it being the best thing that's ever touched this earth, as it has the spoolie on the end, so if anything's ever too intense, you can just like brush it out, make it look a little bit less harsh. Um, Alright, to clean it up, I use the Tarte Shape Tape because it's about the most full coverage concealer ever. And then I use. Here it is. This MAC. Y'all can't even see what it says. It's a MAC flat definer brush. Like 212, 272. Y'all know, I don't know. Alright, so I just get a little, little bit of concealer on there. And then, we're going to start on this one because this one's ratchet. And we're just going to clean it up. And I want it to not be so thick on the tail. Same thing to the other eye, even though this one's perfect. This is like my eyebrow that went to Yale. Harvard, Yale, Brown, any of those things. My other one dropped out of seventh grade. We're gonna move on. So, first we're gonna do found primer. I use the Porefessional to fill in my pores because y'all, all of a sudden they pop in. Not a fan. Not a fan. So mine, I get mine right here. So I'm just going to put it there and just tap, 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 tap. And you don't want to just rub it over your skin. You really do want to tap. And it might look like I'm rubbing, but I'm doing tiny taps, kind of like vibrations. Alrighty. And then I use the uh, Bobby Brown. I don't know how to do this. Everybody does this, so I guess that's how you do it. I have no idea if that worked well. Bobby Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Space. And then I just get my little beauty sponge, my ratchet little beauty sponge. Y'all, it feel, it smells so... It smells citrusy almost, but you, it's a blessing in my life is what it is. 
and it like moisturizes but apparently there's vitamins in here I don't know it just sounds good to me and it kind of gives like a sticky little base for your I wouldn't say sticky tacky is a better word for your um, foundation to stick to I just like the moisturizing aspect of it and it just it's like super cooling and it just like wakes you up in the morning wakes you up so today all right disclaimer before we even get started my foundation is about five shades freaking darker than my face if not more we're gonna look past it together look past it together okay thank you so much so i have the hourglass vanish stick foundation in the shade beige okay so this one i love because you can just swipe 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 maybe we're just gonna use this one we just gonna use it and then swipe 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 swiper no swiping yes swiper we're swiping what you gonna do about it all right so then this one this foundation i've found does not work as well with um a beauty blender so I always use um, the Morphe M439. It's just like a synthetic foundation brush. And y'all know I like the glow, so I'm going to add in the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid in Champagne Pop. So I just put it on the back of my hand. And I'll get a little bit of it on the brush. And then I blend it in. Okay, so now we're going to take the same one, beige. Let me flip my hair out the way for a second. And I'm just going to do like three stripes. Didn't take a lot. Down the neck, just to make sure it matches. Just to make sure. And there's still going to be leftover on the brush, so... Now we're moving on to concealer. So, I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape again. And I'm in the shade light medium. So, this one, normally I do like the upside down triangle. But I just do not need that much with this concealer. Because it's so full coverage. So, I just do like one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I go down my nose. I just made my nose look crooked. Okay, um, do a little bit on my chinny chin chin. And I get really red here. So I do a little there. And then just a little something something there. And that's it. And I realized how yellow I look. I watched it back and I was like, oh, wow. Oh, wow, Morgan. But adding all the other stuff will really help. So we're going to do that. And I wait to put things on my eyelid until we get eyelid <laughs> until we get to concealer. That's why I didn't put the foundation on there. I just like it better. Just concealer. And this is the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. I think it's just as good as the Beauty Blender. And I like, like the flat surface. Like for baking, y'all. Obviously, there's powder there. And, mm -hmm, it's perfect. So, the only place I find it difficult to blend out is my nose. All right. So, before that settles or anything like that, we gonna bake. We gonna bake real quick. So, I have the RCMA No Color Powder, and I love it. 
but it's so hard to get out. I've got to like put it in a different container. So I'm going to use a Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and we're just going to bake. We're going to bake real nice and good. But see that edge is so perfect for this. It goes right up under your lash line. <clears throat> so then I also put powder in my, I bake, bake my smile lines because they, they prominent. I'll just go ahead and do this. <laughs> Let's get a little bit more. <laughs> just put a little, I don't bake this area because I don't get oily or anything, so I just kind of put a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> So now you, we're going to leave that there. We're going to leave that there for just a second. Look like you do crack. And then I'm going to get the Morphe E2. And just get a little bit of that powder. Not a lot. We ain't baking. And just put it everywhere else really quick. So that way all the um, powders like bronzer and blush and stuff don't get streaky. And it's just like one smooth cohesive. Mm, you like that word? Surface. All right, so we're gonna leave this on while we contour. And right now I'm using the contour kit light to medium from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I use the Morphe M523, which is my well used, if you could not tell. Uh, I'm out of Benefit Hula right now, which is my all time fave. It's just perfect. So I mix these two shades together. I like this one better for contouring, but then this one bronzes it up. So I just end up mixing them together. I could do it separately, but I don't. So. I like to turn the brush on the side because I feel like that way it kind of pushes it up and it's less hard to make it muddy. Like it's easier. It goes ahead and blends it up. So I just turn it on the side and tuck it in my little bone. My little, my little chick bone. Or lack thereof. But y'all, the cheek area is like my favorite part. It just makes me happy. <laughs> just makes me happy. Alright, we're doing the forehead on this side. And I'm trying to go faster because y'all that first part of the video, it took me 13, 13 minutes to do my eyebrows. That's too much for me. I'll do an itty bitty bit, not really a lot. On my jawline. Make sure everything's blended. To okay. <clears throat> I'm so done. My camera cut off again and it missed me putting on my highlight and I'm just really upset because it's the best part. But I was telling you I used this highlight from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm really depressed. But look at it. Look at it. Anyways, I was just saying how I go super overboard on highlight but I don't care and then I also miss the blush and the blush that I use are these two whoa I almost spilled translucent powder everywhere uh these two amaretto and rose spritz from the Jaclyn Hill champagne pop face palette and then I use the Morphe E4 and I just mm-hmm Mm-hmm. Very pigmented, very pigmented. All right. I just wanted to make sure I got that part. Um, okay, okay, okay. So now, we're gonna take, I'm gonna close this translucent powder before I spill it. Okay. So now, I'm gonna take my 35O that has beat up, beat up. And we're gonna take this shade right here and mix it with the orange. And that's gonna be our first transition shade. 
So, and then we're just gonna put that all up in the crease. It's really blown out, really diffused. Just keep on going. All right, other side, other side. Ow. I'm sorry for all these random sounds in this video. Okay. Same thing on this side. And the look they decided they wanted on my Instagram was my everyday, like, go-to. I wouldn't call it, like, supernatural, but it is, like, my favorite, like, go-to. If I have to look presentable and I have a little bit of time, it's what I'm going to do. So then I got this brush, Morphe M535, <clears throat> recently. And so we're just going to take this tad bit darker shade right here. And just deepen up the crease a little bit. Love this brush. Okay. Just going to deepen it up just a little. Alrighty. Other side, other side. I'm just really shook about that missing my highlight because I like made this big production and no one gets to see. It should make a beeping sound when it stops recording. That's all I have to say. That's my one complaint. All right, now I'm just picking up the brush that I used the like first orangey transition shade with and just blending that out a little bit more. That's the key. Right there. All right, now I'm gonna take a tad bit cooler medium shade just because the shade that I use on my lid isn't crazy, crazy warm. So I don't want it to look out of place. All right. Now, and that's literally all I do. Just those shades in the crease. And then I use ColourPop Nillionaire. So this shade is actually my favorite eyeshadow in the world. It's just a, oh, it's a bronze, but it's a gold, but it's a perfection. And so you just get that on your finger. Oh, it's so easy and wonderful. And you just put it on your lid. Just put it on your lid. Mm. Mm. Let me do the other side, and then I always do a second layer just to make it a little bit more intense. And then sometimes the ColourPop highlighters, their cream highlighters, sometimes I use that as a base if I want it to be even more. So let me go over it a few more times. I just love how easy, easy their colors are. Like, ugh. They're the best. And you can be messy. Like, it's kind of in my crease, but then you can just brush it away. This is, I think, my fourth or fifth millionaire. Millionaire. Not millionaire, but millionaire. Y'all. And then, hmm, here's a good little, cute little tip. I put it under... Like whatever is left over your finger, I put that on the lower lash line. And it's just like the easiest, cutest little way. Tell me that's not cute. Mmm, better work, better work, better work, better twerk. Alright, and then, whoa! Just take your blending brush again and get a little bit of the orange and run that and kind of connect the top and bottom just a little. Oops, sorry, kind of blocked your view there. And then, 
Y'all look at that. So pretty. Okay. I cut off again before I did my lips and before I did my mascara, but I'm pretty much done now. This is my everyday. Um, if I still want to look, put some sort of effort in, it looks cute. It's really, really easy. It has some glitter going on, you know. It's great. Super, super, super easy. Um, but I'm going to show you what I put on my lips. I've used lip scents because I'm a distributor. So I did one layer of First Love first, which is like this kind of brownie nude. And then I did two layers of Caramel Latte, which is kind of a lot rosier. And then my Glossy Gloss. So that's what I did for that. And then for mascara, I used the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara. Um, but other than that, that's it. This is done. This is over with. This was a train wreck of a video. So if you're still here, seriously bless your soul and I promise I'm gonna get better at these I really promise it's my first one I don't know what the heck I'm doing I'm gonna try to zoom you in really quick so you can kind of see better um, what it looks like I don't know if this is anywhere near my face but this is it and it's mobile I think it, I don't know if I'm zoomed in or not right now that's really I can't tell okay we're going to end this video because I'm so confused. Bye. I, I hope this is not on my nostrils. Y'all rock. See y'all later. My nose is... Oh my god, bye.